Sony Band recently had an AMA where people on Reddit could ask questions about Days Gone to the developer studio and we got some interesting info from that about the development, upcoming additions to the game and more. So let's get into it, it would be awesome if you could leave a like on the video as it shows your support and let's go. Let's start with something that Sony Band is working on that will be planted in the future that namely has to do with the aiming in this game like the dead zone and the lag you sometimes have while aiming. Developer Ron Allen notes that they are working on a few different aim improvements to help players customize the way they want to aim. So as you see here we should expect dead zone adjustments, splitting vertical and horizontal aiming into separate sliders. So overall just way more options to adjust the aiming. They're also planning an invert horizontal camera x-axis option for people that want to play that way. Just a limited amount of games have that at launch, but more and more seem to at least add it post-launch. So just like Days Gone, they're also looking into more accessibility options for people that for example are unable to do the quick time events in the game. So great news might be something we will know more about soon. So the band will also be making sure that all the progression issues will be fixed in future updates. I mean of course we're hoping that if you're stuck at some point in the game that they will fix that so you can at least finish the game but great to see them say that here in this AMA as well. I mean we should at least expect support for this game for the next couple of months with new events kicking off in June. Someone asked the studio about the DLC plans, I know content in June is coming but is there also going to be story DLC in the future? But Ben says that the only DLC they have announced is the survival modes along with the bike, horde and combat challenges. Stay tuned for more info. So at least they don't say no, don't expect any story DLC, they're leaving that option open. It's of course something we saw with almost every big PS4 exclusive, a big expansion after launch. But I'm not sure if this will be the case for Days Gone though, like the story cutscenes have been shot multiple years ago according to Sam Whitworth, the voice and actor of course behind Deacon. So it might be weird to ask him to go into the studio again for a small story expansion. So that's why we likely see some gameplay challenges instead for now. Just my speculation of course, but I hope they go make a story DLC. I think that would be awesome. Although I think them moving on to the sequel for the next gen after these weekly challenges is a more likely outcome. I hope at least we get a new game plus mode. They said there will of course be the new survival difficulty that will be way more challenging than the hard mode. But being able to play that mode with all your skills and weapons would be way more fun than starting all over in my opinion. But really everyone that asked about a new game plus mode in this AMA was simply ignored. And there were a ton of people asking about it. So I think that they know that people want it but they haven't said a word about it. So I would not hold my breath for a new game plus mode in Days Gone. They do tease the possibility of more Freaker types though being added later or likely in the second game. We got Robo Dino Free, awesome name by the way, who asked if there were concepts of Infected that never made it into the full release. Elise responded to this question saying definitely I bet some of the concepts are in the art book. Maybe we'll get a chance to explore more of that later. Again implying that there will be more Days Gone in the future or maybe DLC with new Freakers. Although again I think them moving on to a full blown sequel after these DLC challenges and some free updates is more likely. But it's really cool to see that there is totally a future for the franchise. I mean, of course we got the amazing tease during one of the final storyline missions. I won't spoil any of that of course. And Sony Band was already hiring new people before the game was even out. So there seems to be a future for sure. And the sales should be pretty good for the game as well. Especially since it was made by a pretty small team. A great example of that is the response from the open world designer Eric Jensen who notes that the open world design team of Days Gone was only 5 to 6 people strong and that is really nothing compared to other AAA open world games. Like a Ubisoft game nowadays sometimes has a thousand people across multiple studios working on that title. So the open world team is likely 5 times the size of that of Sony Band, maybe even more. So it's pretty insane what they accomplished in terms 
of random encounters and enemies fighting each other in the open world. Like it's a great foundation for the future as well. If they could add more meaningful exploration in the future with better rewards, then it could be even better of course. There was always the idea of putting a look backwards option in Days Gone while driving, but as you know it never made it into the game. So to summarize the really good post from Ron Allen, I will leave a link to the full AMA and this comment as well in the description of this video. Either way, so it was first R3, but yeah, as you know right now, of course the survival vision is R3, so that had more priority. Then they switched it to L3, but they found that people hit that accidentally when driving, so that it would cause a lot of unwanted turns. So then they moved it to the circle button, but then then later became the drift. And they overall just found that looking back would make you easily hit the things in the world. Like we all know that it might sometimes be even hard to dodge things on the road when you look ahead, let alone when you look backwards. So they decided to not implant this feature in the end. Again, a link to the full AMA in the description so you can scroll through all the answers if you want. These are the things that I thought were nice to highlight here in this video. I will of course let you know when we have more Days Gone news, so like we should get the DLC info any day now. I will let you know when we know more, so totally subscribe for everything Days Gone if you haven't already. Like this video to support channel and check out my recent Days Gone video on all the best weapons that you totally want to get in the game. For now, I will speak to you next time and goodbye.